We're now in the mezzanine of Central Library. The mezzanine was added in the 1960s, in the early 1960s, and is perhaps the part of Central Library that's changed the most since we opened in 1890. Originally this was just one big space which took in the Edinburgh and Scottish Library below and, this, uh, and there was no mezzanine. The, the library downstairs was lined with the tiles which you can now see a small remnant of outside the door of the music library. Here in the Edinburgh and Scottish collection we're in what looks like a really modern space but when the library opened in 1890 this was the newsroom and you would have seen vast desks with big slants on them for everybody to read their, their newspapers. The changes to the library and this area of the library started in the, the 1960s with the addition of the mezzanine area but then in 2014 we opened the new music library up the stairs and we actually refurbished this area again so it's gone through a lot of changes in the years we've been open. Central Library's got some amazing things in its collection and here's one of them. This is the Bassendine Bible which was printed in 1579 and it's the first Bible that was printed completely in English in Scotland. There's only a few of them left in the world, so it's a very precious part of our collection. The tiles which you can see here once lined the newsroom of Central Library when we opened in 1890. And they must have been an amazing feature of the library at that time. Unfortunately, this is all that remains of them. You can see on them the emblem of the City of Edinburgh Council and also the Scottish Thistle. Um, and there, the text is taken from the Book of Proverbs in the Bible. We are now in Art and Design Library, which is located in John Henderson Building. Art and Design Library, formerly known as Fine Art Library, is the place where you can find books on the subjects of art, architecture, design and photography. The Art and Design Library has occupied this space since opened in 1936 and it's the only public art library in Scotland now.